John Boucher. Right, now this time, hang on to that time, OK? Keep that closed. Uh-huh. Right, <laughs> I think I can find a piece of string, because you need a little tiny piece of string, you see, to tie on the end of it. <laughs> you need a week. Now listen, you'll get too high and I won't be able to get you. Now let the balloon down slowly. Let it down slowly. Let it down slowly. Come on, Mike. That's it. That's it. Like a hot aeroplane. No need to circle the place. Just come in. Just... Come in. Come in now, just come in. Hello again. Uh, this time I'd like to talk about uh, entertainers that I worked with on ships. There was a sort of a comradery, comradeship on, on ships with entertainers, British entertainers. They all would help one another. They were very good. <clears throat> Not so the Americans. They were very interested in just ratings. And I remember once doing an American ship with a girl singer and we were to do an hour between us, half an hour each. She went on first, she did 50 minutes, finished with Star Spangled Banner, and then announced that the Midnight Buffet was about to be served. So everybody got up and walked away. I said, Josh, she got off, came off. I said, what do you do that for? You know, I was just about to go on. And she said, tough, I'll get the ratings. But as I say, that sort of thing never happened on British ships. I remember once uh, we were going up through Panama Canal and um, Tom O'Connor, who was a great entertainer, raconteur, great observer of people, he took us all out uh, for dinner at a Chinese restaurant. They paid for it all. It was great. Um, talking of Chinese restaurants, there was one we used to go to in Fiji, and I thought I'd just, I used to get a card from them if I could. And this was it. I don't know whether you can see what it's called there, but it was in Cummings Street in Fiji, which I thought was rather amusing. Um, also, we worked with um, some great cruise directors, one of which was a chap called Roger Lee. Um, <clears throat> and I remember one Christmas, we'd, the entertainers always worked hard at Christmas because we were working usually most of the Christmas day, afternoons, evenings, that sort of thing. And he said, don't bother to go to dinner and rush it. He said, uh, I'll arrange it for later. So at midnight, when we'd all finished, he took us all down to the restaurant and had arranged with the chef and his crew to serve us Christmas dinner. And Roger started to carve the turkey, a great cruise director, bloody awful at uh, doing tur carving turkey, couldn't do it to save his life. So he sent for the chef and he came and did it. But we had a lovely meal and it was uh, very nice. Um, Another occasion that uh, Roger um, handled very well was Norman Wisdom came on to do a show and, and he, he came on with his, uh, his sidekick, um, um, Tony Fane, and the act wasn't going particularly well. So Roger said, look, I don't think we'll, we'll use you as a variety act on these ships. He said, I will interview you. You can tell me your life story. Well, that was great because everybody wanted to know about that. And he went extremely well, got standing ovations every time he did it. And forever after, when he cruised, that is how he went on. Didn't bother with the act, just told his life story. Well, we had our daughter Kate with us at the time. She was, at, well, what can I say, six, maybe six or seven. And she had seen his act and thought it was very funny. And he was sitting having a coffee and... Um, she said to him, oh, Mr. Wisdom, I thought you were very funny, much funnier than my dad. Well, that really tickled Norman. And uh, he, he wrote to her very often after that, and he signed his book for her. He used to say, you know, we was at, uh, go out and have some fish and chips somewhere. We never actually did get around to that. But we'd go and see his show. He'd invite us to the shows if he was working close. And, and that, again, was down to, Nor uh, to uh, Roger Lee. And um, one of these days, I might even forgive my daughter for saying that. <laughs> but I thought it was funny at the time. I'll talk to you again soon.
he just cruised. Yes. One guy was in too many foreign places during the war, you know, for years. For years. Yes, I fought with Montgomery. Yes. In the rising car. Yes. I fought with Tatton. Yes. Didn't seem to get on with anybody in those days. <laughs> That ends my contribution to this show this evening. I hope you've got a side of the face. Leave it in, leave it there. I'll make the most of the next 24 hours because I'll never come again. Good night, see you all.